Hello, 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 Spriggans. Here's how to get all the new emotes, facewear glasses, orchestrian rolls, framers kits, and more in patch 7.1. Be sure to entertain your guests with the new shake drink emote. You can now water your indoor plants with the slash water emote. You will still need to tend to them, unfortunately. The emote does not actually water your plants. And oh wait, what? How many bicolor gemstones do we need? All right, let's go. Okay, here we are at the gold saucer, and this is where we're going to get our shake drink emotes. So we'll talk to the prize claim here. And we're going to go to registrable miscellany. And we can hit this little show only recent added items. And here we go. So we've got our ballroom etiquette fancy beverages, which is our shake drink emote. And then we have three face wears, so the magnifiers, the oval reading glasses, and the elegant rimless glasses. Okay, we also have two new furnishing items that we can get with MGP. So we have the new dartboard cabinet for 8,000 and the billiard table for 15,000. We've got two new triple triad cards that we can buy from the triple triad trader here. We have the Archangel MR card and the Preach of the Distant Chains card. Okay, and the grand total for all of that is going to be 357,800 MGP total. And we've got several new faceware that we can get. And I'll show you what some of these are. So right now I have the Prince Nez glasses. Various different colors to meet your fancy. We also have the new magnifiers. So these have little magnifying lenses. So if you're an artisan, these would be pretty cool to wear. The new brass goggles, these ones are pretty neat. They don't have, uh, it doesn't look like they don't have any lenses on them. Yeah, I like them. I've already used them on one of my glamours. We have the oval reading glasses. Just a classic pair of glasses. I believe these were craftable before. And now we have our elegant rimless glasses. So these ones I can show you the difference here. Very slight. Have a bit of a, th a thicker frame here. So here we are. This is the location where we're going to get our achievement certificate hand ins for the new items. So we talk to this guy, Jonathan. And we can go by show only recent items and to other. And here they all are. So we've got two framers kits. And then we've got our uh, water emotes our brass goggles and our Prince Nez glasses. This is also where we're going to be talking to this wandering Moogle. So this is for a limited time only during patch 7.1. All of 7.1 X, uh, you're going to be able to get a free Fantasia from this Moogle. This will expire at 7.2. So you can get your Fantasia. The Fantasia itself won't expire, but uh, you won't be able to get the Fantasia after 7.2. So get it now, you can talk to this little wandering Moogle, and they'll tell you all about this uh, magical potion, the Fantasia. Okay, we got another pair of glasses that we can wear here, that's just added in 7.1. We have the underrim glasses, so I'll show you what those look like. Pretty simple, but also pretty elegant. I actually kind of like these. In the various different colors and these ones you can obviously see the the lens and it has a little bit of a rim effect on the top of the lens which is really nice okay so you can go to any script exchange in any major city including uh, Lumza Lominza and all them and it's gonna be a crafter script for purple you'll need 500 of these so we just go to crafter script and then we're gonna go to uh, master recipes materials miscellaneous and that's going to be under music, furnishings, miscellaneous. And here we go, the faces we wear. We can also just show only recently added items. Under rim glasses. There you go, for 500 crafters purple scripts. Here we have the new Sweet Dreamer stall that we can get for 500 uh, orange crafter scripts. We also have our condensed solution that I already covered. 
And then if we go into our gatherer scripts, we have a new housing item. So under the orange scripts, we also have the botanist wall frames for 500 orange gatherer scripts as well. Next up, we have a whole bunch of framers kits that we can get with bicolor gemstones. Um, unfortunately, the cost of each framers kit is 600 bicolor gemstones. Uh, I think this is a bit of a steep price for them, especially considering that there are 12 of them now. So we can talk to Barrel here. So here's the Dark Solutions and the Bright Solution Framers Kits. These were added in 7.0. Obviously we have the new Hollow Display, which is a wall-mounted housing item. But these two items were not added in 7.1, but as you can see they are 600 each. So you can see this gets really expensive really quickly, and if you want your mounts, you'll probably be spending them on these vouchers instead. And the problem is you can't return these vouchers. You can only spend the vouchers. So you can't just farm a whole bunch of bicolor gemstones ahead of time for this. You, yeah, it's gonna be kind of nasty, but it's gonna be in some of the new main cities. So let's go over to where those are. Here we are in Radzat Han, and we're gonna talk to our gemstone trader here, Sajirin. And as you can see, he's added these two new Hainish Radiance and Hainish Wonders Framers kits, both 600 each. Here we are in Old Charlian, so we're gonna talk to Gadfrid, the gemstone trader here. And he's got our Charlian Stoa and Charlian Agora Framers kits. You see, these are just added. They also added the tabletop housing item, the Gleaner's Knapsack. Here we are in Yulmore, and you can talk to the gemstone trainer here, uh, Pedro Neil. You're just right by the Aetherite in this area. And I can't talk to them right now because I don't have Shadowbringer's uh, fates done. I've been slacking on that. Um, but as far as the new framers kits go, they have the Yulmoran Comfort and the Yulmoran Glory framers kits available for 600 each. Here we are in the Crystarium by Gramsoul. He is the gemstone trader here in the Universali Markets, located just over here. He will sell you the Exarchic Dome and Exarchic Tower Framers Kits for 600 each. So if you have all of the previous ones that were available in 7.0 and you and just need to get the 7.1 uh, kits, it's going to be there's going to be eight of them so it's going to be a total of 4,800 bicolor gemstones um i don't really agree with the price of them as i stated earlier i think that's not really a good use of people's time in this game um because fake grinding is like you kind of did it and now you're done and now they want us to go back I think if they're going to do another relic weapon like they did in ARR and uh, Heaven's Word where we actually go and do like s specific content like Fates for our relic weapon grind, I think that would be a good way to do it. But just to have us go and oh we got to get these framer kits um, for a really expensive price when everything else is already really expensive for uh, bicolor gemstones. I think they should have been probably like 200 each, something easy. You can knock out in a day if you want, if you really wanted to. Tell me what your thoughts are on uh, the prices for these Biocolor Gemstone Framer Kits. Because right now there's 12 of them since Dawn Trail has released. So that's a lot. <laughs> I'll now show you the new Biocolor Gemstone items added to each of the Dawn Trail zones. Starting with Kozumoka, Kunu Hali, they will sell us of Glittering Bubbles or Gestrian Roll. Then we move on to Urko Pacha. Tepli has a Windswept Whispers Orchestrian Roll. Metipi and Shaloni has two new items, the Ceruleum Embers by Dusk Orchestrian Roll and the Triple Triad Tikron card from the Snake World Boss Fates. Going over to Yaktel, Ral Wuruk has a new Skybound Emerald Orchestrian Roll for sale. Toshana in Heritage Found, located at the outskirts, has the Crash in the Dark Orchestrian Roll. Out in Living Memory, we can talk to the Clerk PX-0029 for two new items, the Echoes of Memory Orchestrian Roll and the Mika the Magical Moo Triple Triad card. 
Over in Tuliolo, Kajio Ja has the Moro's Magic Orchestrian role for sale as well. So yeah, a lot of bicolor gemstone farming we have to do. There is one more orchestrian role that uh, I hope some of you didn't do the same thing that I did, but it is available here at Solution 9. It requires two of the Mika Magicogs that I threw away to save inventory space. So in order to purchase the outfit for the mascot, uh, you needed, I believe it was six and four. So you were left with two at the end. And so if you go to Sublime Curiosities here, yeah, so the, the Mica head and the Mica suit here, uh, this outfit here costed you 10 total, but if you did, a, if you got gold on the fate twice, uh, you got a total of 12, and so you had two left over. Well, guess what? Now we get to buy our fairy battle orchestrian roll with those two left over. So leave a comment below if you also threw out your two Mika Magic Hogs, and now you gotta do the fate another time. Because uh, I certainly did. <laughs> okay, here we are in Idle Shower. So we're going to talk to Chloe and she has a whole bunch of new items for us, including some more framers kits. So we'll go over here, talk to her. And so we've got these three. Um, hopefully you've been doing your wondrous tales to get your certificates. Uh, as far as bronze certificates go, uh, she only has the barrel tender. I'll buy these. Just one. And I'll show you what that is like. <laughs> okay, I really like that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, that's good. That is good. Okay, so that's where you can get that item. That's for bronze certificates. Moving on to silver. We've got the storybook bench, which is a furnishing item. We've got our alpaca neck warmer. Here is our alpaca neck warmer, and then we can try on the alpaca earring. I believe it's just on one side. Yes. There we go. The alpaca neck warmer. Uh, some shirts will cover this up. As you can see, uh, the outfit I'm wearing will cover it up. Uh, so you might need to be mindful of what shirt you're wearing with this necklace, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's just sometimes how it goes. And there's a the little cute alpaca earring there. And then we've got our Idle Industry Framers Kit, our Idle Wisdom Framers Kit, Heaven's Hearsay Framers Kit, and our Heaven's Orthodoxy Framers Kit. Move on to our gold certificates. So we've got the new Ventress Camui Flutes. A little spoiler warning. <laughs> this flute right now is very popular in the market board. So these items here are actually the other mounts that you can get from um, Chloe's gold certificate, you can also get them from your faux leaves hand in. So do your unreal two times a week to get those. But these ones are selling on my server for like 12 million. And this one is going for 7 million now. So like if you're if you're just going to use your gold certificate to sell, uh, buy these ones because the Venturous one, it, it's hot right now. But the price keeps going down lower and lower and lower. It's not worth your gold certificate if you're going to sell this one, especially considering in, in probably 7.2, you're going to be able to buy the new gear, the new ornate, uh, whatever gear it's going to be, which has the five material slots. That is worth way more than I think sometimes those sell for like 26 million. People will buy your certificate uh, well, you can't trade it and they'll ask you to buy a specific one of these. So you don't just buy one of these and sell it. You actually find a buyer first. That's how that's done. All right, PVP. So there's obviously a new Series 7 PVP and the new PVP Series Malmstones have two new Framers Kits. So we have the Seal Rock Framers Kit and the Red Sands Framers Kit. So that will be uh, at Series Level 10 and 20. We've also got the new Awaiting Orders slash Attend emotes. We're going to have the Adamant Weapon Minion. And then there's going to be the Loose Fit Attire Coffer for Series Level 25. Here we are in Lower uh, Juno. 
I don't know if really if I'm saying that correctly, but we can talk to this peculiar goblin and he has a uh, token exchange thing here and sheet music exchange. So in the new Alliance raid, you can get these tattered sheet music and instead of getting the specific orchestron roll to drop, you can now just get this uh, tattered sheet music and you can hand it in for one of these. So uh, instead of trying to get the specific one now, you can just get one of these and then hand them in. Uh, currently there are 12 total. There's 11 from the vendor and you get one of them from MSQ. Which, if you have seen this guy, you probably already have gotten the orchestral roll. The new sack of nuts items include the new mount Brachiosaur Horn for the long boy. They are also selling the Surge Light Twine and Glaze, but I wouldn't waste your sack of nuts on these. Instead, you can get the new Ordell coin from the Juno Alliance raid, and the vendor for that is here in Solution 9. There are a few more orchestron rolls that you can get. So one of the new ones is Nature's Bounty Orchestron Roll. This comes from the new sub aquatic voyages. I think it's in the Indigo Shallows. If you're going to try and buy this one, it is very expensive. On my server right now, it's going for 20 million and no one's buying it. <laughs> so yeah, there is that one. There are the new uh, Cenote Jaja Girl, which is the um, the treasure map portal. So I believe we have cast stones in shadow. So this one is available on the market board, or you can try and get it from treasure portals themselves. And I believe there are also face wear available. So we've got the slim frame glasses. This one is available from the cenote as well, which is the portal and the cat eye glasses. These ones, oh, these ones are actually kind of cheap compared to the other ones. Um, I mean, relatively, <laughs> if 2 million is a lot for you, maybe wait or try and get them yourself. We do have a few new hairstyles uh, that are available. So doing the wave is also from the new treasure maps and uh, you can obviously sell this one on the market board as well. Okay, and there's going to be a few more uh, items that we can also get from 7.1 patch. Uh, you'll have to do MSQ to get them. Um, so MSQ will continue right here by the innkeeper at uh, Bolaruk. I haven't done it yet, but they, you will be getting another orchestrian roll and we can also start doing our society quests for the Pelu Pelu people. So here we are, we're at the new Aetherite that they added for this area. It's the Dock Poga and we are in Kozaboka of course and this is the new society quest. Um, it's very cute, it's very nice. Basically open up a tourist resort and we're helping them do that. And so you'll be able to do your daily quests and this will be for your Disciple of War or Magic. Uh, it's very good EXP at level 90. I believe it's 1.8 million per quest and you get three of them a day. And yeah, so once you level up, you'll be able to turn in your Pell Plumes to uh, Pavli over here. And they have the new Orchestrian Roll and a few more items as well. Okay, if you want to get all of the bicolor gemstones, uh, items, orchestral rolls, framer kits, all added in 7.1, you are going to need 7,950 more bicolor gemstones. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, get to it, get your new emotes, get your new orchestral roll and framer kits. Oh my goodness, that is so many bicolor gemstones. I wish that you could get other things from doing fates other than bicolor gemstones. Obviously, if you have classes to level up, you can get EXP. Um, I wish you were able to get some kind of a tome stone as well. So if you already have all of your jobs to level 100, at least you're getting something other than just bicolor gemstones. Um, yeah, leave a comment below on how 
how you think this should be handled or uh, if you think that it's okay because it's a lot you know all right if you like this video give it that sweet thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends stay hydrated drink some water and be kind to someone today even if it's being kind to yourself and i'll see you in the live streams bye for now